You guys, I'm gonna tell you what, if I wasn't plugged in before, I'm definitely plugged in now. This right here is absolutely a sneaker that I wanted to get in hand because I just wanted to see how good these actually were. And I'm gonna be honest, judging by all the pictures and all the details everybody's talking about, these are gonna live up to the hype. I always remember you guys, take care of yourself, take care of each other, tell somebody you love the day like I love you guys. Always remember, no matter what you're going through, at the end of the day, the day's gonna end. Let's go ahead, let's get into this video. Yeah, yeah, he got kicks. I like swish. I don't miss. Don't do bricks. He got kicks. The kid is sick. Team with raw rock. Cause he got hits. He got kicks. What is up, YouTube? I'm He Got Kicks. Welcome to my channel. If you guys are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, ring that bell to y'all notifications every time I drop one of these bangers for you guys. Hit the like button, hit the share button, do all these great things for me. Of course, man, follow me on Instagram at the real He Got Kicks and the hat page Perfect Brims and TikTok He Got Kicks 95. Shout out to today's commenters, man. Appreciate you guys engaging with the content, being positive with the content, and of course, man, making this a safe place for sneakerheads to come talk and just chill. But today's video, you guys, we are talking about a sneaker that, of course, released on June 20th. This is a sneaker that a lot of people have been talking about and some people call it trash some people call it fire some people love to talk about the details and i was like you know what i want to see this sneaker in hand myself so shout out to one of my homies man appreciate you i i'm definitely like i said if i wasn't plugged in before i'm definitely plugged in now appreciate that appreciate you giving me the love price as always man but of course man we're gonna go ahead and get into this sneaker and we're gonna see about the details and everything in hand so let's go ahead let's get into it <clears throat> all right you guys got the box right here man and hey i love hey my dog if you're watching i really 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 love how you do business because man you was literally when you said it was going to update that's when it updated i was like man he is on it so definitely definitely getting a repeat customer out of me that's for sure go ahead and open this up boom boom as you guys can see you got the jump man right here with the two three on it and a very 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 special packaging of course this right here is the women's air jordan 3 retro og sp in the bi-coastal black Malachete colorway. If that's, I know, I, I just know that I butchered that, but oh well. Uh, it's a size 11 and a half, 10 personal size. Style number is FZ7974, color code 300. I'm gonna open this up together like always, you guys. On the count of three, one, two, and man, I love the paper. And three and here you guys have them the air jordan three nina chanel these right here are absolutely fire if you see of course like you got that jump man hang tag on the side you have rope laces which i think is super dope and just all along the sneaker it kind of feels almost like turf in a way like grass you have the nike air right here on the back with of course that jump man here the bottom uh <laughs> it's kind of got that sail got a little orange got that uh, kind of neon I think that's gonna look great after a couple wears in my honest opinion but still i think it's absolutely dope it does have like that canvas material right here on the toe box as well as you guys can see and of course a little bit more of that turf kind of material right there on the toe box too uh all in all this is a great sneaker and right here on the back got that air jordan of course on the back of the tongue with the jump man on the tongue but this right here is absolutely a great sneaker. I think it's dope. I'm gonna see if it even comes with like extra laces. Okay, so it does come with an orange set of laces. Definitely super dope as well. Um, again, this is definitely a sneaker that's not going to be for everybody. That is an absolute fact. Uh, it does kind of feel like you have like that leather material right there on the inside of the shoe as well. So all in all, great sneaker. Uh, let me go ahead and show you guys the insole. Uh, again, it's just, it is a good shoe like i'm this just like i like the insole I like the little details it feels like turf everything like i like these small details i love the box the packaging's dope and of course it's jordan 3 so it's probably going to be a little comfortable now the leather uh the leather on i think on the ankle that might actually you might actually kind of rub against it so you might actually want to wear like longer socks with these for sure because um, any any sneaker that has like that leather on the inside uh, always seems to kind of like you know give me blisters as i wear it or start to hurt a little bit but even even the orange laces right here are of course 
row places. So definitely a fire sneaker. But at the end of the day, I think it's dope. I think it is a good sneaker. It does release, I think the retail price is right around 250, isn't it? Or 225. Uh, that's, you know, I mean, again, that is really, really steep. We're gonna see exactly how much they're going for on sneakers retail is 225 so it's gonna be 250 after taxes and everything for me so i gotta say i definitely got a good deal because a lot of people are selling these for 460 480 500 dollars my homie he definitely looked out so appreciate that for sure but definitely one of my favorite sneakers uh to release this month because we have not had that many good sneakers released this month so definitely glad that we were able to get this one secured into the collection and just something a little bit different of course man you can't always just wear the same shoe over and over and over and over and i like that they're actually bringing stuff out like this so definitely a good sneaker glad that again that i was able to put it in the collection um again though after a couple wears i do feel like that this is going to probably start to look kind of bad on the bottom and everything so good thing not everybody can see that bottom but yeah definitely a definitely a good sneaker uh, i can just see why it is not for everybody that is for sure it definitely isn't but again definitely super dope glad to have it in the collection love the packaging love the sneaker love that it's something different they're trying something different and you know every collab isn't always going to hit for everybody and again you know, like it's just something different so again it's not one of the better sneakers of the year by far not anywhere near top 10 nothing like that but it's a very solid sneaker they tried something different i can of course applaud that so shout out to them for doing that but appreciate of course the homie for looking out I definitely appreciate that because I wanted to show you guys what these look like, of course, in hand. Let me know in the comment section down below what you guys think about the Nina Chanel 3s. Is this a cop or a drop for you guys? Or are you guys even going to try for it on release day? Let me know in the comment section down below. As always, you guys, take care of yourselves. Take care of each other. Tell somebody you love them today like I love you guys. And as always, man, I will see you guys in the next video. Got a ton of early stuff coming for you guys. And of course, man, I will see you guys later. Peace.